With action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The Ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired, for this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy, and Andy Clyde as California. Well, Hoppy, what about our story? The adventure we bring you now is one we call The Spider Woman. In this one, both California and I died. Now, this may sound a little confusing, but it isn't half as confused as we were the day we were camped near the trail to Gold City. Suddenly sighted a weird-looking old woman scrambling toward us over the rocks with a dozen horsemen in full pursuit. California could only stare, and what was good enough for him was good enough for me. Say, uh, Hoppy, uh, do you see what I see? I'm not sure. What do you see? That old gal heading this way with all them fellas after her. Uh, uh, suppose they're playing a game? Yeah, or... <laughs> they look a little old for that. But if they are, it looks like they're playing for keeps. You stay here and keep me covered. I'm going over and give her a hand. Right, Hoppy. I'll watch things. Here, this way. Come over here. Those uh, fellas after you? Got eyes to see, ain't you, young man? Of course they're after me. Well, come on, then. My camp's over here. I have a friend there. Oh, we'll see... keep your hands off of me. Just as you say, ma'am. Don't need no help and hate to be pawed. Catch me again and I'll put my curse on you, too. Your curse? Uh, well, well, what's that about a curse? <laughs> no need to put a curse on you. From the looks of your face, somebody's beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no way. Ah, California, minute, forget I... it. We got company. This may mean trouble. Maybe we'll find out what this is all about. Hi. What can we do for you, gentlemen? Trouble get ahead over that female stranger. Maybe I'll find it's too much trouble. What do you want her for? That's something I don't reckon you want to know, stranger. Sometimes the less you know, the better you sleep nights. With me, it's the other way around. Well, they aim to lynch me, that's what. The fools. You be careful, Jed Crutch. Uh, maybe I'll lay a curse on you. I reckon, stranger, you think that's funny. Think what's funny? What this old witch says about a curse. I wonder if you think it was so funny if you knew she'd already killed three men that way. Now she's put a curse on still a fault. Ah, uh, maybe she's right when she called you fools. You certainly talk like it. Where you fellas come from? You some of St. John's men? Who's St. John? A fella in town that talks the way you do. Thought you might be working for him. But that ain't neither here nor there. We came to get this female and you ain't stopping us. Hey, Grady, come in. Yeah, kid? Tell this fellow why he ain't stopping us. Oh, you can't, mister. It's a matter of life or death. My life or death. I don't get this. I don't get any of it. Why is this a matter of your life or death? Because she put her curse on me, stranger. And if we don't hang a fort can work, I'm going to die just like the others did. What others? The first was Dave Siegel, mister. Just as hale and hot as you are today. Then she put a curse on him and he fell down dead. Ha, 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 bet. Without a mark on him to show why. Heart trouble, no doubt. Oh, sure. That was the trouble with Mr. Wrigley and Saul Kramer when they fell down dead, I suppose. I don't know. I never heard of Saul Kramer or these other fellas you're talking about. I don't know anything about it. Jed, All I know is... Jed, I, my throat hurts. I can't... I can't breathe. Jed! What's the matter with I don't know. Hoppy, what happened? What's the matter with him? Wait a second. Let me see. Stand back. Let me look at this man. Is, is it anything serious, Hoppy? Yeah. Yes, you might say that it is, California. He fell down dead. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Spider Woman. It seemed incredible to Hoppy that any such thing could happen, but scarcely had the man named Grady declared that the Spider Woman had put a curse on him than he fell dead. Hoppy needed only one glance at Grady's companions to see that trouble was coming. And now, 
As this thought leaps into his mind, his guns leap into his hand. Hold it. Stand right where you are. Don't one of you move. Why, why blast you, mister. You mean you ain't going to turn us over with trouble that's even now? That's exactly what I mean. California, bring the horses here. I'll do that. In case you and me, the right idea. Stay right beside me, ma'am. I know this looks bad, and I know this woman had nothing to do with Grady's death. At any rate, not by putting a curse on him. We're taking her away. Try to follow us, and there'll be a lot of lead coming your way. Into the saddle, California, then cover us. Right, Hoppy. Woo, boy. All set. You and the female get aboard. Into the saddle, ma'am. We'll ride double. <coughs> there you are. Now. Get up, boy. Oh, come, come on. Hey, come on. All right, get your guns out. Get your guns You hit California? Uh, never touch me. Ah, uh, they're too mad to aim well. But we better make tracks. Come on, Topper, let's go. Get up. Get up. Wait a minute, I think we've lost them. We'd better give the horses a chance to get their wind. Oh, boy. Oh. Yeah, yeah. we better do that. Here, I'll give you a hand down, ma'am. <sighs> Told you not to touch me, didn't I? Never trusted men since I married one. Yeah, still married? Oh, no, he died 30 years ago. He wasn't all mean. Ah, well, maybe you'll tell us where you live. If you think it's safe to go back there, we'll take you. We... Oh, you mind your own business. Oh? Ain't telling you where I live. Don't you go trying to find out neither. You two busybodies, just stay away. I don't need no help, and I don't want nobody meddling, and that's all. I see. California, will you step over here? Uh, y- yeah, yeah. What are you going to do with a woman like that? She got me stumped. Think we should take her into town and turn her over to the marshal? Uh, you mean charge her with something? No, just for her own protection. Well, I don't know. Maybe she wouldn't like that. From what I've seen of her so far, if she don't like a thing, oh, she... Oh, 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 hold it. Huh? She's disappeared. Look over there. She's gone. Probably slipped into those trees. Well, I'll be darned. Hey, we can pick up her trail uh, quick enough, though. Uh, come on, let's see if no, we can... Oh, uh, let her go. Let her go? Sure, she can take care of herself. Besides, she isn't our prisoner. She can go if she wants to. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Oh. I'd rather get into town. Uh, into town? I thought we were heading the other way. Yeah, well, I've changed my mind. I'd like to talk to this fellow, St. John. St. John? The one they thought we might be working for. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sounds as if he might be on her side. If that's so, maybe he can tell us what this is all about. Can't get anybody else to make sense. Worth a try. <clears throat> might be a good idea. All right, let's go. Very happy to meet you in California, Mr. Cassidy. May I offer you some tea? Thanks. Might taste good. I'll have a cup. Ah, that's an Englishman's weakness. Would your friend take some? I don't know. Uh, how about it, California? Well, uh, what's it taste like? <laughs> well, it tastes like tea, I suppose. Well, then I wouldn't want none. Uh, wouldn't want lace in my saddle blankets, neither. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're in good company, California. Quite a few people don't care for tea. Now then, uh, you said you wanted to see me about this spider woman, didn't you, Cassidy? I I wonder what you could tell me about her. Mm, not a great deal. All I know is that her name is Annie Semple and that she lives in an old shack not far from the property I manage. I don't know whether that will help you or not. What's your opinion of her? Mm, just a harmless old woman as I see it, Cassidy. But not the most pleasant person you'll ever meet, of course, but... Uh, Harmless for all that. Well, you seem to differ from most of the others around here about her. That's why I came to you. Three people have died after quarrels with her, Cassidy. Tim Grady's the fourth. Oh, that's just coincidence. Oh, I don't agree with them, but I can understand why the people around here might be afraid of her. Uh, how did they die? As Grady did, no marks or wounds to show the cause, just nothing. Might have been poison, of course. Yeah, it might have been, but I don't see... Well, there's no use making guesses. I wonder if you could tell us where she lives. Just this side of the Yankee Dandy, you know it. That's the gold mine you own, isn't it? Oh, I'm only manager and part owner. It's west of here. If you take the Crookston Trail... Yeah, I know where it is. I I think California and I will go out there. 
Now? Well, shouldn't we? Oh, well, uh, it's just that if you go out there now, Cassidy, you'll arrive after dark, and, uh, well, I, uh... But, uh, what's wrong with getting there after dark? Oh, no, nothing, I suppose. You're not superstitious, I should think. No. But uh, local legend has it that it's not a pleasant place to be after sundown. Won't ask me why, just what people say. Then I'm due to find out whether they're right or not. That's the spirit, Hoppy. Uh, you go ahead and do that. I'll stay in town and ask some questions and... Well, and I... what questions? Uh, uh? I said, what questions? Oh, I don't know. I'll think of some. <laughs> Afraid to come with me? Huh. Now, ain't that a silly question to ask, Hoppy? You bet I'm afraid. Hey, wait a minute. Hold it a second. That's her place over there, California. Yeah, yeah. I know it is. Uh, what I don't know is, what in blazes are we doing out here? I wanted to come out here for several reasons. For one, I wanted to see if she reached home safely. I think she did. I thought I saw a light just before we left the horses. Well, well, uh, that's fine. She got home, so now we can go, and, and I... Uh, Not I, yet. I also wanted to find out if that bunch meant to try anything again after she got here. But the chief reason I came out here... Yeah? Well, she told us not to. I wanted to find out why. If she'd known me very well, she probably wouldn't have said anything. She should have asked me. I could have told her. <laughs> I... Oh, my gosh. Uh, what was that? Uh, I don't know. Hey, look there. It's a light. No. No. It isn't exactly a light. It's more like a glow. Poppy, it's... More like a spook. Look, it's moving. Yeah, moving this way. Goodbye, Hoppy. I'm moving this way. We've been here long enough. California, come back here, you... Hey, 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 Hoppy, what? Help! What's the matter? I'm falling. The ground's caving in. I... Oh, no, no. oh, help! California. What happened? Where are you? Here. There's been a cave in here. Are you hurt? Worse than that, Hoppy. Worse? Just a second. Let me see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I reckon it's so, Hoppy. What's so? I think I'm dead. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Spider Woman. Frightened by a ghostly figure near the old shack inhabited by Annie Semple, known locally as the Spider Woman, California turned to flee, only to feel the earth give way beneath him and to find himself at the bottom of a pit. California is morally certain that the fall has killed him, but Hoppy is skeptical. And now joins his friend to make sure. <clears throat> now let's have a look at you. Wait till I strike a match. Hmm. You look all right to me. Didn't twist an ankle, did you? Gee, Hoppy, I don't know. Well, try to stand up and let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Never thought of that. Uh, gosh, I'm all right, I guess. Gee, now, ain't that wonderful? I had to bet anything I was killed completely. Yeah, better luck next time. Here, hand me that stick before this match goes out. What for? Uh, here you are. I want to see what this is you fell into. Hey, wait a second. I've got it. Got what? This is the tunnel of an old mine. Yeah? You sure of that? Of course I'm sure. Look there. There's the timbers. They rotted through. We came along just at the right time. Just when they are ready to give away. And look over here. In this direction. The tunnel's clear. Very interesting. Only I ain't interested in tunnels. I'm... Well, I am. Huh? I'm going to see where this one takes us, and you're coming along. Here 
there's something funny. Look here. What's that? These timbers. Take a look at them. Just looks like timbers to me, Hoppy. What about them? They're new. Yeah? Don't you get it? You fell into an abandoned mine. Now we're in a mine that somebody's working. That's so. Well, the distance we walked, I'm just surprised we ain't run into a dozen working mines. My feet's half chilling me, Hoppy. Uh, I'll bet it's broad daylight outside. Yeah, it probably is. And I'd be willing to bet that we walked straight into Hillary St. John's Yankee Dandy. That's I... right. What? What's it? You have, mister. And I got news for you. News? That's right. You raise your hands or you're dead men. All right. You can go now, Mason. Okay, Mr. St. John. Well, I'm sorry this happened, Cassidy, but my man isn't to be blamed. He's a mine guard, and so naturally he was just doing his duty. Oh, sure. Don't worry about that. No hard feelings. But I'm just a little puzzled about something, that's all. That wasn't your Yankee dandy California fell into, was it? Oh, no, that was the old Eureka. It hasn't been worked for 30 years. Not since old man Semple died. Semple? And his husband? Yes, of course. She owns the Eureka? For what it's worth, yes. As a matter of fact, that shack she lives in is the Eureka's old shaft house. Well, this is interesting, St. John. How's it happened the two mines run into each other? Nothing exceptionally unusual about that, Cassidy. There are similar cases. Yeah. As I understand it, Semple followed his vein to our boundaries, and it petered out there. Was there anything else that you wanted to know? Oh, sure. Lots of things. Well, I'm rather busy just now. Oh, I didn't mean to ask you. Huh? My idea was to ride out and ask Annie. <laughs> And flash it to kingdom come. Yes. Oh, it's you two, is it? Well, what you fellas want? Well, we'd like to ask some questions, Annie. Yeah, what about? Oh, a number of things. About the Yankee Dandy and your Eureka, for instance. Also about Hillary St. John and these men they say you've killed. Do you like answering questions? Uh, you're the first fellas come along with sense enough to know there's questions ought to be asked, mister. But what's your object? Supposing you get your answers, what you aim to do with them? Hmm? I don't think you've killed anyone. I want to find out who did. If I find out, well, maybe you'll find a little safer living around here. <laughs> Ever thought of asking any questions about Crutch? Uh, who's he? The fellow you met that day I met you. The one with the big mouth that was all set to organize a lynching. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember him. Sort of made himself the spokesman for the others. Yeah, that's right. After you leave here, I'd suggest you look him up. I'll do that. Yes, yes, yes. In the meantime, let's go inside, ask your questions, and if I got the answers, <laughs> I'll sure give them to you. <laughs> All right, Crutch, right. inside with you. Hello, St. John. I'm back again, this time with company. So I see Cassidy. Oh, hello, Crutch. Come in, come in. You're just in time for tea again. St. John, this hombre has gone loco. Oh, he has? Dragged me right out of my house, that's what he did. And you're going to be sorry for it, mister. I'm telling you by thunder. Crutch, if I you, I'd shut up. Yeah. And speaking of trouble, St. John, I think I'll make a little... And when I've finished, you and Crutch here are likely to be in it right up to your necks. <laughs> oh, how unpleasant. I think a spot of tea is indicated. Gives tempers a chance to cool, you know. Uh, you will join me, won't you? I will. I need something. I just wish you had something stronger. How about you? I'm not sure. To be perfectly frank with you, St. John, I think this is how those four men died. What's that? <laughs> I told you gone loco, didn't I? 
He thinks you poison them. Oh, I say. <laughs> You're not serious, are you, Cassidy? I'm afraid I am. Do you honestly think that I might poison you? I think there's nothing you'd like better. Funny, ain't he, Sam John? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, Cassidy. If you're so scared of being poisoned, we can change cups. You're not afraid? Why should I be? You've just been talking through your Stetson. Well, thanks. I will take yours. <laughs> Comical, ain't he, St. John? Oh, I'm not just sure. I think you owe me an explanation, Cassidy. Sure. I came to give it to you whether you wanted it or not. That's why I dragged Crutch along. Yes? You see, I think you've been working your own little game, St. John, and Crutch has been helping you. In what way? I mean, what is my game? Control of the Yankee Dandy, and then of the Eureka. I'm not sure I follow you. Ah, uh, you're probably way ahead of me. What I think is this, St. John. You've discovered a vein of gold that runs through both mines. In order to really cash in on it, though, you'd have to own them both. Therefore... The murders. You had better be a little bit more specific. I intend to be. I found that the dead men were all shareholders in the Yankee Dandy. Hmm? What? They probably wouldn't sell you their stock, so you plan to buy from their heirs. Hmm? Hmm. As a matter of fact, I've discovered that in two cases you've already have. And how would that help me get control of the Eureka? That's where your friend Crutch came in. He built up all this Spider Woman stuff, put the blame on Annie. She wouldn't sell, so you wanted her out of the way. Interesting. Isn't it, though? You tried to make it interesting for us last night, too, didn't you? Oh, did I? Wasn't it you out at Annie's shack last night making those noises? Oh, why... You... Weren't you trying to scare us away? Oh, nonsense. I don't think so. I've examined the tracks you left. So, you built up this entire preposterous theory on the strength of a few footprints... How do you expect to convince anyone of this, Cassidy? Where's your proof? That's the difficult part, St. John. This sounds good. I'm convinced it's true. But I haven't any proof. Uh, I thought so. What do you come here for? Well, I thought you might give me the proof I need. You thought that I would? Yes, of course. You see... <coughs> you see, I... Hey, hey, what's the matter with him? I don't know. Cassidy, what is it? Oh, my throat! Burns! Can't breathe! Can't breathe! Oh! Oh, no! He's... He's dead, St. John. He... He... He fell down dead. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy. Crutch, you, you, you say he's dead? You, you're sure that he's dead? Take a look at him. What's it look like? I, I, I don't understand this. I, but I never meant to kill him. No, of course you didn't. What's that mean? You forgot, didn't you? What? Forgot what? That we changed cups. Uh it wasn't Cassidy. It was me you no, meant to no, kill. No. The cup he drank was a cup you gave me. Ain't that so? Hmm? Ain't that so? You're, you're out of your mind. Let me go, man. You're crazy, I tell you. Let me go. Oh, you? let you go. But first I'll fix you so your own ma wouldn't know you. Try to shut me up, will you? Oh, oh no. Oh, no, please. Oh, don't touch. No, no, don't. I don't know what you're saying. You, you, you don't know don't what you're saying. Don't, huh? You likely had this figured from the first. Use me. Then when things got hot, get rid of me to keep me from talking. Get up there, you blasted chiller. Sure, you poison them fellas. Only that wasn't the last of it. When they was out of the way, I was to be next. Well, here's something to make you wish you had. Hey, you two, get him up. Get him up. Both of you. Oh, you're a California. But uh, don't shoot me. Uh, it wasn't me poisoning your partner. It was him. No, no, no. It was St. John. No, no, he poisoned no. him just like it poisoned all the others. Ain't gonna shoot nobody. Just gonna turn you over to the marshal, that's all. He's been outside at the window taking this all in. Uh, <laughs> Hoppy, I reckon you can quit playing possum. Oh, dear. What did you have to come in so soon for, California? Huh? I was getting a lot of pleasure just watching them beat each other up. Well, uh, it, 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 it's it, Cassidy. He ain't dead. He's not dead. No, I'm not dead, St. John. But as I said, I hoped you'd give me the proof I needed. And it looks to me as if you have. 
Come in and get them, Marshal. They're all yours. Now, now wait a second. Yeah, you, you, you mean there wasn't anything wrong with that tea after all, Cassidy? Oh, sure there was. What was it? It wasn't coffee. Oh. But if drinking tea helps me to catch two murderers like you, I'm going to learn to like it. <laughs> it takes a lot of courage to drink from the cup of a killer. But when the honor of a woman is involved, even a spider woman, you can depend upon Hoppy in California to play their cards to the hilt. When next we meet for another exciting adventure with Hoppy in California, don't be too surprised to find them tangled up with a pack of wild beasts. But our story is called The Killers of Lion Canyon. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. Spider Woman was written by Gibson Scott Fox, with original music under the personal direction of Albert Glasser. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs>